inviting us. We really appreciate it. And thank you so much for recognizing the work and the efforts of SM Group. We truly appreciate it. So uh, first of all, congratulations to Asia CEO. And we are so uh, appreciative that a group like you is espousing sustainability. And with now you have the waste management. And soon I think you will speak more on sustainability because right now it, I think it is the name of the game for, for business, for society, and for our future generally as, as a society, as a group. So right now um, I can share, I would like to appreciate, thank you, appreciate you for allowing us to share our vision. And we will dive a little bit to waste management, but I would like to present our broad uh, uh, direction because um, perhaps a lot of your stakeholders are very much interested to know with the footprint of SM, what exactly are we doing and supporting for the growth and sustainability of the nation. So I, I would like to show the bigger picture first. So our vision in SM is to build world-class businesses that are catalysts for development in the communities we serve. Now, I know this is a lot of words, but what it really means is uh, the goal of SM is for us to develop and build businesses that are very competitive globally. The world is becoming smaller and uh, the world has seen how great Filipino workers are, but they have yet to see how great Filipino establishments are and corporations for a fact and how we partner with the nation. So we want to build this world-class businesses following or even uh, going beyond the best practices globally. And uh, along with it, we want to create positive impact to all the communities that we serve. So um, our ecosystem generally, we are founded by Henry C. Senior who believes that business development and social development go hand in hand, business growth and social development. So what does it mean for us? So basically we have uh, putting our stakeholders as the center and core of our business. So we have our people. Our people are very important. You know, we can only rise and fall as much as our great our people are. So we give so much value to our people and along with it is creating a lot of jobs for Filipinos, direct and indirect. Another one is our partners because SM is actually the biggest home for MSMEs. And we've grown with them. We started ourselves as a micro enterprise in fact with Patam working very hard along with MSME. So we have with us our suppliers, our contactors, farmers, business partners, about 80,000 of those. We have also our customers. You know, our customers are very important to us because uh, without them, we are nothing. So we stay very close to our customers. We will try to understand their aspirations and we want to make sure we even anticipate their needs, especially in evolving times like COVID right now. And of course, our communities. So wherever SM is through our malls, they become our communities. So in the pandemic, just quickly, because this is the pressing thing right now, we had to make sure that all of our stakeholders are safe, they, they are healthy, and they are able to thrive amidst all the changes. So the first thing we did was to make sure we took care of all our people. We make sure our businesses are secured, uh, healthy, clean, and we had to evolve in some of our business models to make sure that we are able to meet the needs of our customers. For our customers and communities as well, we, we made use of the SM Arena to have the testing center for COVID and we donated more than, uh, actually it's hitting about 300 to 400 million plus on medical supplies. We participated in Project Ugnayan along also with the Ayala Group. So, and we make sure that um, we have safe mauling in SM. We also facilitated our digital platform to make sure that we are able to serve our customers in excellence. Uh, amid the changing times. Now, the key issue now and the biggest one with the government and DTI and BOP is our MSMEs, which are providing about, we're actually about 90 plus percent of the business in the Philippines are MSMEs. And they provide about 60 plus percent of the jobs in the Philippines. So you could see that we are a very um, inclusive society in the way our businesses are, are made. No, It's not really because that it's big companies lording over. It is actually not true. So our role now is that the MSMEs are given the platform 
to make sure that uh, they, they are able to thrive. They have some financing of which uh, BDO network, one network back is supporting. And we are doing this kasama ng SM to help them bounce back and market. Now, why are we doing all this? It's not a reaction only for the pandemic, but actually we are committed to the sustainable development goals we signed as a UN Global Compact member a signatory and uh, of the sustainable development goals, we focused on six areas. So number one is decent work, uh, sustainable communities, climate action, good health and well-being and education and partner for growth. And I'll show you how we go about this. So the minute SM enters a community, we enter actually with a mall. And then we have our residential, uh, SMBC, and we have our uh, businesses, like uh, uh, we bring in our retail, our banking, and we also have our um, uh, buildings that support businesses for offices. Now, what does it mean? So when we enter with that whole integrated city, we actually bring decent work and economic growth. We're, we're one of the top job creators in the country. We employ about 150,000 plus direct, and we have indirect um, job creation. Whenever we enter, the local businesses thrive because they become tenants and suppliers of SM. And also, we have more than 10,000 registered suppliers. We are amazed with this is that uh, we turned uh, the local Sari Sari to store to become an agent for banking through the BDO cash again, because having a financial identity is really very important in the Philippines and we loan for um, SMEs. So, and then for sustainable communities and cities. So when we build integrated lifestyle cities, we bring along with it, we build public schools, we renovate health centers, we build roads, we build home projects. Uh, we also have um, home projects for middle market. And we have to make sure we bring in convention centers where there are a lot of activities. So it will really burst economic activity in the local community. And we bring in disaster resilience. Why is this very important? Because the Philippines is quite vulnerable in disaster. So 10% of our capex actually goes to disaster resilience, which helps support a radius of a community, uh, especially in flooding. Mm. Now, what, where this is where the waste management comes in, which is a very important topic you are discussing now, because the Philippines, you know, we, we, we have a lot of islands and means we are a lot of water surrounding us. And yet that water should have been a source of very good income for the Filipinos, thriving community for Filipino. However, when we start to pollute our waters, instead of it becoming a sustainable resource for our fishermen and people, source of food, it is now becoming a problem for us, especially the rivers. So for SM, we are quite large. And what we do is we have a cash, uh, trash to cash program. So you bring in your recyclable materials to us and we will exchange it for cash. The other one is uh, we recycle water. 33% of our water is recycled. And our trash, we recycle a lot of our trash and we are working with the local, local government on waste management programs, as well as we are looking into projects of changing our waste into energy. So those are, we have, uh, we are now conducting a lot of recycling for our paper. Uh, so a lot of our waste management that we could share with the community as well. We also introduced recycled bags to our customers. Now, the other one is climate action. Well, you know, we, we uh, protect our, wherever we are, we protect um, biodiversity. We are now protecting 10 hectares of mangroves. We work to facilitate uh, three marine protected areas um, at the, in Batangas, in Hamilo. And what's important that we would like to share is actually we have solar panels on our malls. And we also finance green energy from BDO and China Bank. And another, the thing is also, despite all of this, while we try to create shared value, a certain portion of our members of our community still need better access to basic services. So we still focus on good health and well-being. So we renovate government facilities so that they could have uh, better health care. 
and also we have scholarship programs and we renovate and build school buildings so that our public schools can have a, a more conducive place for, for learning uh, uh, to, to support um, quality. You know, right now, the Philippines has entering a demographic sweet spot where the dependency age is less than the productive age. Supposedly, if we are able to optimize this for the next 50 years, it, we should be seeing a golden age for the Philippines uh, in comes to economic prosperity and people development. That is why SM is very committed to education because we have a lot of youth and if we are able to tap them and bring them to live to their full potential, they can change this country and we and really make it very prosperous for the next generations to come. So uh, these, and of course, that's why we are here with Asia CEO. We partner for the goals because Asia CEO is also one of the uh, frontliners when it comes to creating synergy in business at private and public sector in creating synergy for sustainable and responsible businesses. So we are here to partner with these types of organizations along with the UN Global Compact, GRI, and, and the national targets for NEDA. So that, that is the role of SM in our community. And um, we report all of this to our stakeholders because we see ourselves to be accountable to our stakeholders and we hold ourselves responsible. So we do publish sustainability reports. You can download them in our website. We have um, seven listed companies and all of them publish sustainability reports. So we wanna thank you so much and a congratulations to Asia CEO for making this first webinar, I think on waste management and uh, I think advocating more for sustainability and responsible business. Thank you so much.